Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Doucette. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a fragrance um, video. I'm going to be showing you guys the best and top uh, winter fragrances in my collection. So if you want to see what those are, if you're looking for a new fragrance in these colder months, go ahead and keep on watching. So I just want to start off this video saying that winter fragrances are my absolute favorites. There's something about winter fragrances that just like, I don't know, they're so moody, they're so sensual, they're just very captive, captivating, and because of that, I, I love winter fragrances. The fragrance we're going to talk about is by um, Bond Number no. 9, and it is Tribeca. So, it's in this white um, bottle. I just recently picked this up. This has been on my list for a really long time, and it's very expensive. I bought this on Saks during Black Friday because it was significantly reduced, and I've had this fragrance since November. It is really a, a heavy hitter fragrance, and it's so good for the winter time. I remember the first time I wore this, I got into an Uber, and before the Uber driver even like asked for my name, anything like that, she was just like, oh my god, you smell so good. And she said that several times during the ride, and it was only like a 10 minute ride. She kept saying, oh my god, you smell so good, oh my god, you smell so good. Like. And I only sprayed a little, like you need a little bit of this um, fragrance. You don't need a lot. It, it doesn't smell like it, but it reminds me of, it reminds me of Baccarat. That is exactly what this reminds me. It doesn't smell the same. So Baccarat on me, y'all know the girls love, love Baccarat. And I love Baccarat on the girls. But Baccarat on me smells like throw up. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. I've tried that fragrance so many times. It does not work well with my body chemistry. But this has a very similar um, like vibe to Baccarat. I can always spot it, I can always say, oh, that person has Baccarat on because I, you know, it's a very distinct scent. It's a very unique scent. And this kind of has that same vibe. It's very um, unique. Like not a lot of people are gonna be wearing this. So I'm glad I picked this up. It's my first Bond Number no. Nine fragrance, um, and it's just a very beautiful fragrance. It's it's like one of those fragrances where if you're wearing it, you want people to smell you. You want everybody to know that like you smell good as fuck. So the next fragrance is going to be a fragrance that came out. I think it launched a year or two ago. Um, and it is the Fenty fragrance from Fenty Beauty. It is, I really like this fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that like not everybody likes. Like you either like it or you hate it. And I really like this fragrance. I think it's a very nice fragrance. I said this in my other video. I think the reason why some people don't like it is the immediate scent or like the, the, the very top note. I don't know what it is, but it's very, it comes off very medicinal, like, but that only lasts for for like a short time. But I can see how it can turn people off because it's medicinal smelling when you first like sniff it. But this fragrance is beautiful. I got it for Christmas, I think a year, like two years ago. Um, my sister bought it for me, and I really, really, really like this fragrance for especially for the winter time. Like, it is the perfect winter time fragrance to me. It just gives you that like, it's very warm, it's very inviting, it's just like, it feels like you are cozy under a blanket and there's a fireplace going, like that's how this fragrance makes me feel. It lasts really long on the skin, again, it is one of those beast mode fragrances, it's very much a scent that um, is going to project and have a lot of sillage and stuff like that. And it just, it smells, it smells so good. It just smells so good. And it pairs really well with my, my body chemistry. I think with any kind of fragrance, like sometimes it's not even the fragrance itself. It's just like your body chemistry, like how it really meshes well with your body chemistry. That's why like when people um, try to gatekeep fragrances, I don't understand that because at the end of the day, how a fragrance smells on you isn't going to smell the same on other person. Like some notes are more prominent on other people than they are on you so it's not going to smell like I said with Baccarat smells good on everybody else but on me 
literally smells like throw up. Like, this is the type of fragrance like when it's snowing, like right now it snowed. You put on a nice fur jacket, um, hair, makeup, gun, and then you just spray this fragrance and it puts it all together. Like a nice fur um, hat even. Like this is, that's the type of image that this fragrance gives me. Like it is such a nice smelling, very expensive smelling, very bougie smelling fragrance. And I really, really, really love it. Next on my list, this fragrance is one of those fragrances like it has a really special place in my heart. is It's my first niche fragrance. It is one, and it's my. It was my first um, like big girl fragrance. I got it as a gift Christmas. Like I want to say three, four years ago, and it is um, Princess, and it looks like this. It doesn't come in a bottle. It doesn't come in this bottle anymore. It comes in like a, just a regular black bottle, and it says, "I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess." her um, when i smelled it it was love at first sniff it was love at first sniff this has a marshmallow and ginger note that you can smell right off the top These two notes are what um like on me that's what comes out the most and it's very it's sweet it's a gourmand but it's also very warm and like inviting and like you when somebody gives you a, i feel like if you're wearing this fragrance and somebody gives you a hug, like they're just gonna want to keep smelling you. Like it's very um, alluring. It's a very alluring scent. Like you want to keep smelling it. You want to keep smelling it. It has a. It, it lasts a long time on the skin. Like I'm glad I picked this as one of my first fragrances because I knew what to expect out of a, a high end fragrance. Um, because Killian is a fragrance house, so and it's a niche fragrance. So it it was just like the perfect first big girl fragrance for me so this fragrance is always sold out always sold out like ever since it dropped always sold out so far I don't ever have this fragrance in in um in stock um it is uh kaoli vanilla 28 and i know you guys have seen it heard about it this is a beautiful fragrance if you want to layer your fragrances i've been wearing this non-stop since i bought it and i think i bought it I may have bought this in the like summer end of summertime going into fall, but I've been really gravitating towards it when it became like colder. Um, and I, I layer it, I wear it by itself. It's a great everyday fragrance. I think you can also wear it at night if you pair something else with it. Um, any vanilla forward fragrance you can definitely pair with this to just kind of elevate it or bring up more of that vanilla that is in the fragrance um this was only the travel size is only 28 dollars, and i think the one fluid ounce is only like 90 dollars. it's not a lot but it's always sold out <laughs> ever since like i've been trying to get my hands on this for like i, I feel like 10 years um but i did i finally got the um travel size version of it and then i'm going to pick up the uh, the uh, full size version it's just it smells like vanilla like it just smells like vanilla if you're a vanilla girly if you're a gourmand girly this is a perfect perfect scent like especially if you're um Somebody who likes more of a simple fragrance, you don't want anything that is too much or too loud. I feel like this will still give you like that gourmand feel, but it's very simple, very straightforward. So you don't have to, you're not doing too much with it. This is Angel Sharon. I also have this in the travel size version. And the only reason I have, I love this perfume. Let me just say this. I, this has been on my list for god i don't even know how long i've had this on my list for a very 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 long time and i finally got my hands on um the travel size version um this was retails for 50 dollars. i got it at sephora the reason the only reason i haven't bought the full size version is because the full size version is like 300 dollars. so I've been waiting uh, for it to go on sale, they, but every time there is a sale, like a, the Sephora fragrance sale, it immediately sold out. Like immediately. <laughs> but it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. How can I? This is like, um, it's part of Killian's um, liqueur collection. And it does, it does smell, it smells like a very smooth, like liquor 
And I know that sounds weird, but it almost feels like if you mix the liquor with like a baked good. That's what this this fragrance Angel Share smells like to me. But it is just one of it's just a very smooth, very nice like fragrance. And obviously I've worn it down. And I think I got this during the summertime too. Um it's just it's it's just a very beautiful fragrance. It's it's very addicting. That's how I would explain it. Like whenever I spray this on, I just want to keep smelling myself and smelling myself. So like entrenched in it. Like I don't know. I don't know how to I'll still expel, hey, describe this fragrance. It's just it's just one of those fragrances that are it is very addicting. Um, as a gift to myself, it is the Laura Mercier Amber Vanille Eau de Toilette. It retails for $96, and I love this perfume. I love this perfume, especially from the winter time. Even though it's at Eau de Toilette, I still feel like it has a lot of um, project projection. I feel like it stays on my skin for a really long time. It's an amber vanilla perfume. It's very, it's sweet, it's gourmand. Um, Mm, it smells so good. Like again, it's very just like I feel like somebody hugged you. Didn't they would never want to let go because they'll just be like, "You smell so good. You smell so good." Um, and it's just it's a great for every day. It's great for running errands. Great for going to work. I've been picking this up a lot um, in during the winter time to like put on, go to work, or go run errands. It's such a beautiful perfume. Uh, newest addition to my perfume collection, it is my Montauk Paris. It is um, Intense Cafe. And it comes in this beautiful, pur in this beautiful purple bottle. And I got the website is Max Aroma, so they're always every day they have a they have deals on perfume, and they mostly have niche perfumes. So if you know anything about niche perfumes, you know how expensive they can get. And yeah, sometimes they have. 30, 20, 40, 50% off. Sometimes they have buy one, get one free. Like I got this 50% off. So originally retails for $140 and I got it off of Max Aroma for 70, like 74, $70. Yeah, Cause I was like, I've never ordered from this website before. The deals seem too good to be true, but yeah, it's definitely legit. So yeah, this is uh, Intense Cafe by uh, Montel Paris. Again, great. I think this is a unisex fragrance, but I love unisex fragrances. Like I love, I love male fragrances too. They smell really good on me as well. I don't know why, but it's very much. It has. I know it has. It has coffee in there, and just, hence the name Intense Cafe. I think it has some vanilla in there. Um, it's sweet. It's a sweet perfume. So if you don't like sweet perfumes, this may not be for you. The fragrance is Ebony Wood by Zara. If you're a perfume girly, then you remember when this um, fragrance went viral because everybody was trying to get their hands on it, but it was sold out all over Zara. It was website in stores. You can find it, but I love this fragrance. It's um, a ma masculine fragrance and but it just, I feel like it's so perfect for the winter. And it also layers very well with other fragrances. Like I layer this with fragrance with um, other fragrances in my collection and it just elevates it. And it's really, the good thing about it, it's really inexpensive. This bottle, this is the smaller bottle. This was about $14, $20. It has all the characteristics you would want in a niche perfume, but not for the niche perfume price. And I wanted to include it. Mm, it smells so good. I wanted to include this in this video because I know that not everybody can afford or want a niche perfume. Sometimes you just want something really inexpensive and quick. And Zara, honestly, is good for perfumes like that. Like, and I made quite a dent in it. Um, I have a lot of perfumes, so I don't I don't get to wear all my perfumes as often as I want. Um, but. I, I remember when I first got this, I wore like all the time. <laughs> I wore it all the time because it's such a great perfume. And I couldn't believe that like I got it for such a great price and it was such a great perfume. So, so we have come to the end of this video. Um, those were all my winter perfumes that 
my, the best winter perfumes in my collection. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me what your favorite winter perfumes are or what are your like signature perfumes in the winter time that you really love or just um, fragrances that you have on your list that you think will be really good for um, the winter in the colder months. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!